I don't think so. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch once again. And what do I have for you today? My highest recommended mage builds for 1.0. Now, I have been asked over and over and over again if I plan on refreshing my builds prior to 1.0, which again, at time of recording, is in seven days. And the answer is no. The reason for it is because all of my builds are current for the current version of the game. And anyone releasing builds right now, which is totally fine, they will be outdated in seven days. We have new uniques. We have new affixes. We have new gear. We have a whole bunch of new things coming. So everything is going to be need to be tweaked and changed. But that doesn't mean I can't steer you in the right direction. So for this video, I'm going to be talking about really fun mage builds you can play at 1.0 if you are still undecided. Starting off with my favorite mage build, and this is actually under Rune Master, my Hail Hydra build. Now, this build plays like a minion build, even though there's no minion tags. You are making Hydra boxes, and you see these sentries basically shooting fire at enemies. They literally almost never miss. They auto-target, they always clear the string and screen, and they are unbelievably strong. So it's kind of a minion play style, even though you're not using the minion tag. You have Fireball as a spammable skill, and believe it or not, inside of this build, it is also unbelievably tanky because you are always triggering your Flame Ward and you have tons of ward just from spamming your abilities. So not only are you tanky, you also do a ton of DPS. It is also very easy to power level friends and level yourself and the minions never miss. I just want to reiterate that. This is why I'm so excited for Chthonic Fisher in Warlock, because it has the exact same targeting as Hydra Box for Rune Master. Super strong build. I've been streaming it over on Aaron Action RPG on Twitch, and there's a lot of people interested in this build. All the information is linked in the description. Build number two, sticking with Rune Master, is my Iron Man. Now, the reason why I call this build Iron Man is because it uses an invocation called Lightning Web, which is literally a lightning blast you shoot out of your chest. Very fun, very cool. I tell people all the time that lightning is actually my favorite element. Not only is it so visually appealing in Last Epoch, it is always very strong and is great for crit and crit multiplier builds. So for this build, you are using Spark Charge, you are using Lightning Blast, and you are using an invocation that shoots a Lightning Blast out of your chest. Just like Hail Hydra, it's a very tanky build because you're going to be generating a ton of ward and you're going to be doing a ton of damage. So if you like a little bit more minion-ish play style and auto-targeting with fire, Hail Hydra, if you like lightning like me, Iron Man is going to be for you and you are doing all the damage directly. Moving over to Sorcerer. Now, I do get asked all the time, Aaron, what's better, Rune Master or Sorcerer? Because they do share a lot of characteristics. And the answer is Rune Master, in my opinion, is a better class. Now, that being said, if you are new to the action RPG genre or you are new to Last Epoch and just learning, this class is very straightforward. It's very easy to understand, and it is an awesome starting class. So if you just want to learn, still be able to clear all content and have a very straightforward play style, this is going to be the build for you. This is my seventh iteration of my B Raiden Sorcerer, obviously focused around lightning. You cannot be Raiden and not be lightning. Just like Rune Master, this build is very tanky. It does amazing, consistent damage, focusing on Lightning Blast, and your Lightning Blast is actually ricocheting back to you to boost your damage and your crit chance. Very fun, very quick, and you are just chain lightning and chain lightning enemies everywhere. Now, sticking with Sorcerer, I do have another recommendation other than Raiden, and that is my friend Gazzy's Sorcerer Glacier build. You saw fire when it came to Rune Master, and you saw Rune Master and Source both having lightning options. But what about cold? I know a lot of people like cold. Now, for this build, it's almost exactly how it sounds. You're going to be chilling enemies. You're going to be freezing enemies and you're going to be crushing them by hitting them with glaciers. Yes, you'll be pushing and actually hitting them with glaciers. And for this build, you'll actually be converting lightning blast to a cold skill. So it's going to be cold, 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 cold. And you're going to be doing a ton of damage by hitting enemies as a cold sorcerer. The link to this build is in the description. It has all your passive points. It shows all your skill points and has a detailed breakdown of the play style. I do recommend this if you are a cold 
player. So now we're going to switch over to our battle mage, which is, of course, Spellblade. And I don't know if anyone's like me. When I think of a Spellblade, I always think of a Zealot from Starcraft. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird in that. This build is written over on Icy Veins. It is linked in the description, and it is by my friend EMP. Now, right now, we are working on a brand new Shatter King, a new Shatter Strike build, which is my personal favorite way of actually playing Spellblade. But I know a lot of people like Lightning Spark Charge as well. So while we're building out that Shatter King build, let me show you some Spark Charge. Now, in this build, you're going to be using Mana Strike, which means you're never going to have to worry about mana, which is great. Don't have to worry about resource management. Your heavy lifting is going to be done by Static, which is going to do lots of damage to single target and area, so AoE. And you're going to be moving around the map with Surge. So this is definitely another Lightning build. My favorite. I love Lightning so much inside of Last Epoch. The visual, the way it plays, it's very straightforward. And again, this is linked in the description if you are looking for an up-to-date lightning spell blade all right everybody that's the video have you made your selection for 1.0 whether that's mage or sentinel or falconer or whatever mastery let me know your thoughts in the comment section below two asks at the end of the video ask number one i'm hoping today is the day i have earned your subscription i'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button i would really appreciate it but if only if you think i've earned it and if i haven't earned it i'm gonna work harder for you Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 103 members that have signed up. I get asked all the time, what's the best way to support? And Patreon is it. Not only does it help me, but you also get access to exclusive content. You get access to Patreon game night. You get access to the VIP lounge, access to audio and video streaming with me. It's a really good time. It's a good place to hang out. First link in the description is my Patreon. I'm done. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.